Hello everyone and welcome back to Newport Bay Franchise Mode. Yeah, we are back in Franchise Mode. I told you that I will be back at some point, but I didn't say when and that was just to secure myself um, because I had no idea when it will be possible and here we are, it is possible. So we are back in Franchise and uh, to start right off, stick with me, um, there are going to be huge changes to Franchise. It's gonna be uh, back and we will uh, continuously have Franchise once a week um, yeah, no, probably on Fridays, but uh, there will be some changes. I will do things a little bit differently and you will be a big part of it. You have to become a big part of it, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, so today it's more or less a little bit of an episode to just get ourselves back into because honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Like it, it has been way too long that we played in here and um, you can see this uh, animal is stressed. Can we just go to that animal please? Why do you open the menu? You just open the menu for no reason. I want to go to the stressed animal. Why is it Why is it opening the... Okay, Luciana. Let's have a look where Luciana is, okay? This is... Uh, Luciana is... Luciana is in the trade center. How is she even stressed? This is also why it opens that up, right? Um, let me just quickly check. So, when Luciana animal trading... Okay, so, well, Luciana. Can I quick trade her? Do I even need her anymore? Because I thought we had, you know what, I just quick trade her. See you later. I don't know if we needed her or not, but you know, if, if that is a message, I don't want to have it. Okay, cool. We have some breed exhibit species. We've done that. Um, King penguin is about an offspring. Let's quickly collect that stuff over here. So for those of you who are new to this franchise, for whatever reason you might be new now, but this has been my new Port Bay franchise that we started around the aquatic update, which is why it is like a new Port Bay area. And as you can see, um, this is really like a little bay area here with a pier, we have the seals swimming in the middle, we still do have the escape issues. Um, I know that Frontier is looking into it, um, I sent them several files to check it, um, and I really hope that, you know, in future updates this won't be an issue anymore. Uh, we do have a little bit of an area of like more, um, you know, mixed animals. We do have some uh, pygmy opposed over here. We have the otters on this side. We do have seals. We do have penguins. And it's nighttime. Why do we have it nighttime? Can we just change it uh, to the opening hours real quick? So, we, oh my god, this is that long. Let's go to 20. You know, our zoo can be open quick, quite long. Let's go to 19.30. What, what's the time now? 18. Okay, so it's nearly nearly next day then. Um, so I think the last thing we did... and How are you? Okay, the giant ant eaters are the ones being stressed over here. I mean... Um, so when you're sleeping over... Oh my god, we have a giant ant eater baby! Is it a baby though? Wait. Yay! Can we move you, move you over here real quick? I want to see you. I want to see you in, in like a dry area. Let's have a little look. It's like it just, it's like a shrunken version of it. It's, it's looking a tiny bit more cute on the face. I've, I've never seen one in the game. It's a little bit looking a little bit cuter, you know, um, and just like a, a, a small sized version of it. Uh, it. It's about to snow. Are you for real? <laughs> Okay, so this one is, uh, yeah, you know, the thing about, um, I think we even have speakers somewhere over here, don't we? Yeah, there are some speakers already in there, and we told people to, you know, shut the fuck up. Um, so, <laughs> it should actually get a little bit more quiet for them. I don't know why, what the, um, oh, it's too, it's too cold for them, right? Let's go to go for some heaters real quick. See, this is the reason why I knew that this episode will be all about making sure that everything is good again. Um, putting some heaters, or whatever, put it up there. Let's have a look if it's getting warmer again for them. I think if we put it right, there you go. That should be fine. And I mean, we have to still continue giving them more of these things, right? Let's put another one there. Then we have one to be stick to the temple here. That should make things warmer over there. And then, is this actually, this is the, this should be the tapir, right? Uh, whatever do we have in here? Or is it the giant ant eater? No, that's also the tapir. Let's give them, let's give them some warmth inside here. That should fix this bit up. Um, and um, apparently our friends, the jags, also do seem to have a little bit of a hard time in this cold breeze out there. So I'm going to give them some heaters as well. Um, 
I guess also the water should be heated, right? I mean, the water is not heated because it's not like I'm, I'm not using the water heat system here, but maybe that's helping. Let's have a look. Oh, look at how many babies we have. With so many babies. I'm going to put all these heaters down and really hoping that this is going to solve the issue. You can see this area is going to be heated up pretty nicely. And you can actually also tell that the water is not automatically heated up anymore as it was uh, previously in, in this game. Um, so I'm just going to put all these heaters down. You can see this water over here is heated up. Why is it still 6.17 in the morning? That's why. Oh my god, look at how, how it's glooming in the water. Um, can you just quickly tell me? No, it's not. Like, why would it? Social. Space. How and why? Um, mate, do you think it's really... Like, what is... What's the issue here? What exactly happened that you can't go outside anymore? Wait a second. Did, is this is this maybe because of that enrichment item? I, I can't really think about. It. I mean, I can't I, I can't believe it's that it's not. See, for whatever reason, did they change? Sometimes I really don't get why this game constantly changes the traversable area. Um, you know. Uh, things about animals. I really just don't get it. Let's have a little look if that fix it, fixed the issue. It did fix it. Good stuff. Okay. But I saw them moving out. Not well, whatever. I thought it moving outside, but you know, fix that, fix this, fix everything. Um, yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna go away in a second because welfare is going to go back. Um, and then we have those ones, stress. Can we also give them some music thingies to reduce the stress? Let's have a look. Uh, we're gonna give them some sound options. Transport rides, where am I even clicking? Ambient speaker, there's one and there's one, okay? And we're gonna give them by the beach. And this one's also going to go underwater. See, that should be fine. Blah, blah, this can go. All right, so everything is done. Money-wise, we are doing absolutely fantastic. Um, what we what we should also do, uh, we go to research, and I think there's quite some stuff I haven't researched yet fully. Oh my God, I have never researched the bird's tape here. Neither do I have the seal or anything. Um, it's also quite early on here. You know what we could do? We could just employ another vet at this point. And what we can also do, is real quick train our people if we haven't done this already. Uh, I, I keep forgetting that, so I'm, I'm just going to look into uh, training all the stuff that is not yet fully trained. So just looking into that one, you idle around. Why you do? Why do you idle around? It's no time for idling around. Anyhow, so let's just train all of our stuff. I think this is partly the reason why I wasn't too successful in my previous um, things. So you got no work zone. We also have to check stuff as soon as we expand a little bit further. We have to check that uh, that one. Uh, can't find accessible research. Oh yeah, well that makes sense. Um, we don't have a research center for you. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's have a look if we can plop maybe one down here. So that's that's this one. What's in here though? There's nothing in there. So that's fine. Oh, we can actually we can actually fit one in there. Let's do this real quick. So staff facility uh, workshop no. Uh, keep research there you go and we are going to oh my god this is quite large uh, okay no never mind then I'm going to go into our backstage area and I'm gonna give them a large research center which is going to be <sighs> you're kidding me right is there any building in here no there is none so we could technically squeeze one in here right let's go with this big one I'm gonna do it that way and you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to grab that gate and put it in here and there you go this is not nice this is not nice at all but you know um, there's something we're gonna talk about soon and this will make things better okay so you know I've, I've, I've I think we've we've done oops this is the camera I used to be at the same spot after the time lapse good stuff Okay, so what we have done last time is actually, uh, ooh, this is actually, um, this er my goodness, it, this is gross, why don't we have, okay, you know what, we are going to employ another caretaker that is only going to work here, you're not going to go and have a new 
work zone, which is going to be, oh, wait a second, there's no staff building around, right? Is this a staff building? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be Jaguar cleaning. Blah, blah, should be fine. Okay, cool, this is that. This is this, this is that. Good stuff, okay, so we've done We've done pretty much this, okay? We've pretty much done this, and now, see, I, I really loved the franchise modes so far, because it's really going forward in the game. But what I don't really like too much, I'm going to say it out loud now, I really don't enjoy the building part as much as I do it in Sandbox. The simple reason is that the Sandbox, obviously, is making me... Um, comfortable in, in, in time usage because I don't need to stress out, I don't need to look at how long an episode becomes and whatnot. I want to make sure that we limit the franchise episodes to 40 minutes max. See, that's what, what I really want to have, 40 minutes max. And the, the way we are going to do this now is each week I'm going to put you a challenge and this challenge will result in some winners that are going to be used and this is going to work a little bit different. I'm going to repeat that at the end of the episode as well. For those who are notoriously skipping through the videos, I see you guys. You skip it. What the? Okay. Um, we are going to actually um, have a topic for each upcoming episode. So it, I think it has many advantages. The first one being you guys can kind of expect what is happening next week. And after each week, we are also going to get into a voting. I will get the topic for next week. And then after next week, we are going to get into a rhythm of voting so that we always have a little bit of a um, community impact in terms of which theme we are going with. And of course, also in terms of uh, the winners of um, some things, you know, and by some things, I'm mean really cool stuff um so we are going to while well, i'm going to place down some bins actually why don't we even have that many bi gosh um so by cool stuff i mean i will really go into um building something for those people so i you know i said i mean i don't enjoy building that much but i will take your uh, inspiration and build you guys a kind of um monument oh, okay monument is maybe a big word like a statue okay so let's say next episode there's a certain theme going on and i will ask you for some things for this theme um these things may be related to a building maybe related to a habitat maybe related to an animal maybe related to whatever okay so there's a lot of cool stuff going on um, and then I will actually take a winner of all these things and again for the first week I will decide it but then um, the week after I will make a voting in the Gilded channel. I have a Gilded um, channel which is basically the same as Discord, just a little bit better or at least uh, a bit more promising for the future. So if you want to join there's a link in the description and this is basically the most important thing for you guys to take part in it uh, because you will be able to send the link via the Gilded channel in there and then um, I can grab it from there and uh, use this as well because that's apparently very important and again there will be very important bits um, uh, to to look into um, and then I will again use these things in my series because I want I want really to you to be a part of this whole series I want to make this as engaging as possible for you and I really would love that you guys really join in there in the chat and give me really your opinion on on those things in here okay so this is very important to me um, because I think franchise offers the possibility for me to assemble things to really create a very very well running zoo and um, now that we are really talking about it already here is the bold announcement this is going to be the attempt to to have mostly every animal of the game in here. Yes, I said it. Newport Bay will continue and we are going to extend the bay quite dramatically. So this this whole area is going to be a bay. Um, this is going to be water, only water, okay? And this zoo is going to be extended into thematic areas. And we are going to start with the next thematic area, which is here, which is for the next, I think, at least two to three episodes. But it's going to be, again, a little bit different than it was previously. So what we're going to do right now, as we are 15 minutes approximately in, or like around, I will now show you what is going to happen. While we have some things going on, vet research is done, uh, you know, we can keep it running. As, as long as everything is running, I'm I'm fine with everything. Um, we can research the seal as well, why not? Um, 
Now, one thing I really have to check real quick, do we have the animal aging, blah, 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 animal settings, aging. Let's just make that a little bit slower for the moment because I, uh, while I'm talking and preparing stuff with you. Oh, by the way, we did this little, oh my God, look at that. We did this trick to make this, oh my God, we can just quickly do this. Sorry, but I totally forgot about this. So let's take that water and make this water tropical. There you go. And we can make it less... I want to have it, yeah, there you go, and we can actually bring this a little bit further to this color, yay, that is really cool, that is really, really cool, and now this is, this is somewhat murky, what is going on with this water, um, is this actually, wait a second, is this becoming dirty, because that's no good for our zoo then, um, blah, water, temperature, water, cleanliness, why is this water, did I use murky water? I'm a little bit confused. Do we actually have... Wait, where's the... This is the heater, right? Can I can I see your... Why can I not see... Huh? Where's the... Range? There you go. This is... Oh, this is the range. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter, but... Do we have actually like a, a water cleaning thing over here somewhere? We do have that one, but this one is not like, you know, okay, we gotta have to put something next to this one then. Um, let's put the water thingy down before I am going to go into the um, Rudy talk, <laughs> so to say. Yeah, no, there's none over here. Okay, good stuff. So then we can just bring one down here and this water is going to be uh, taken care of. I mean, the thing why I did this is because when I now change the color, it potentially leads to me not seeing if it's if it's any 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 clean or not. Um, so clean water, dirty water, Everglades. What would they have? Like Amazon? That's a little bit too dark. Uh, dirty tropical. Um, let's go. Well, that's toxic. <laughs> uh, I want to go somewhat like this, and then. Uh, um. The thing is, I, I I should go for more more like something like this. This is this is more realistic, isn't it? And then, yeah, let's do it that way. And that's yeah, that's a lot cleaner. I'm yeah, I like this. I think this is fitting a lot better for the jaguars. Okay, so now let's um, talk about stuff. Okay, um, we will adjust the color of the the other water bodies uh, later. Okay, so did we say hello to everyone now? I need to say hello to myself. What am I even thinking? Bah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, good. Okay. So, since we can now use also um, some cool stuff in franchise, something like um, guest facilities, like this, we can have guest spawners now. We can make people spawn from different locations. And this is why we are starting with different themed areas and each themed area will get a wonderful starting point. And this is what we are going to do now. This is going to be our first one for the next episode. Let me just quickly paint what is going on. So this area over here is going to be, and that's a classic. For those of you who are following me for a long time, they will have a lot of fun with this now. This is going to be the first themed area. Let me just quickly check the size. That's fine because it fits in very well with those animals over here. Um, they are also part of this area. This is already part of the area. Um, this is going to be, and let me now take something hopefully that you can uh, see pretty nice. Is it going to be raining? Anyways, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't change anything. This is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to be, <laughs> I can already reveal that. It's going to be Mexico, okay? We are going to go into a Mexican area. This is going to be Mexico, okay? We are talking about Mexico because, uh, again, for those of you who know me, Mexico and me, they, there is a story. And we still don't have a Mexican, Mexican set in the game, but we have enough pieces, for example, the Indian pieces, that would help a lot. And this is going to be the Mexican area. However, now, now it's going to be interesting. So, um, let's have a little look. Um, I need a bigger sign. 
let me just see um, property editable text there you go and I'm going to take pff, it doesn't really matter which one but I'm going to take this one because it's a bit bigger so oh, oh, there you go um, so what we're going to do here I'm going to si uh, type down now what we will need so I want to have two shops okay um, and each shop should contain um, at least one drink and one food it can also be um, it can also be something else. Um, there you go. This is one thing we need. Oh my god, it's not. I want to have this in. Uh, whoops, uh, in this area for you, so you can watching the video, you can note this down, whatever you want. Okay. So two shops, one drink, one food. We need backstage, and there we will need actually each building one uh, once. I should call it that way. Each building once, um, and well, let's say except quarantine, because that no one needs that. Um, this is wow, nice. <laughs> um, okay, well then let's say you 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 know what I meant, okay? Because you should be able to read that. There you go. Backstage each building once. Then we will need uh, backstage props. Whatever you come up with, that's fine. Um, Hey, why did it not? This is actually, there you go, backstage props, and then we're going to go further. We need three shelters, Mexican styled. This is what we need as well, okay? Three shel uh, shelters, Mexican styled. Then what I need as well is three viewing galleries, Mexican styled. And. Oh, 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 what a, oh, gosh, resume. Um, and then what we will also need, there you go. I don't know if we will get this together, but so you just know, okay? And then we definitely need um, Mexican, Mexican decoration. This can be anything. This can be nature, this can be whatever, okay? And from these things, I'm going to assemble the Mexican area. But very important is take whatever you want. You can do, you can do everything. You can just ch check one thing of these. You can do whatever you want. And here's the thing, the winner, you know, I'm going to pick one winner who is going to be like the let's say this is the building I think is the most uh, cool looking, the most clever, the most innovative, whatever. Uh, this person will get a dedicated Mexican-styled statue from me, which is going to be in here, which is going to be uploaded to the workshop with a dedication to this person, um, and it's, it's just like going to be a very nice feature, okay? This person will also become a specific role in the Gilded. He is going to be, or he or she, is going to be the Mexican master. So at the end, we will have three or let's say it depends on how many episodes we have um, and because each episode will have a winner so three winners would equal three different Mexican stars of uh, you know Mexican masters in the guild um, that's pretty cool and this will happen then for each and every episode and you will get this role in the discord um, and it's it's yeah, I think this is really cool and it will give you a bit of a better exposure and of course you'll get a mentioning in the episode in the description and if you have any social channels you want to be linked to sure give them to me i'm going to drop them down in this um video as well so i think if that's not a cool prize i don't know what is this is what you know i also looked into stuff that i can somehow do which i i can promise because that doesn't really all need too much time but it still gives you this uh, this bit of engagement which i hope is going to be uh, you know making that a little bit more interesting for you and uh, yeah this is it okay so uh here we go now this is oops we are now 23 minutes in which is a good time uh i got two two yeah blah blah okay um let's do a real quick recap while why is it let me just speed up the whole thing a little bit so it's getting da daytime i really hate that rain and nighttime that's the worst scarlet has matured great stuff scarlet okay so we are here it's getting going to be a bit more daytime now oh my god this is taking ages 3000 guests in the park this is also getting better i'm gonna have to look into that but you know um it's fine there is the sun coming in rain is stopping good stuff okay let's keep it that way now recap guys we are back franchise is back it's gonna change a little bit there will be an episode every friday remark uh, i think this is this is good for you to ta uh, take a note or whatever every friday franchise if i won't get it I will skip a week maybe or upload it on Saturday, you know, don't take it for too granted, it's still my hobby and, you know, 
Next week, we are going to start with Mexico, Mexican styled area. Therefore, I need your help. So if you want to take part, make sure to check the link in the description. There's a link to my guild. If you don't want to join the guild, which is totally fine, you can still take part. Please send the blueprints to me via my email address, which is rudy.rencamel at googlemail.com. You'll also find that on the on the page. Or you can DM me if you have DM me from Discord in the days. Um, you can also DM me on Discord. So don't worry, you don't need to join the guild. I would be happy if you do, but you don't need to. And these are the things I need. Um, so we've got two chops, one drink, one food, each of them. Backstage, each building once. However you want to do this, backstage style. The backstage props, three shelters in Mexican style, three viewing galleries in Mexican style, and a lot of Mexican styled decoration. That is what we need, okay? So this would be great if you guys could deliver on these pieces. I'm gonna just zoom in, so in, take, uh, in case you wanna make like a little screenshot, here you go, please take a screenshot if you need that. And um, the winner, as I just said, is going to be getting a monument in here or like a statue um, with the name. I'm going to include the name in the episodes. I'm going to include um, you in a specific role in my guild. If you're in the guild, I will actually give you a specific guild as the Mexican master or any kind of theme master in the future. And obviously you will be part of this a big project and I will upload the statue to the workshop with a dedication to you. So that's the idea behind this. Remember, this only works if you guys take part. So it is a community project and I really want it to be one. So if you have the time, if you want to join, it doesn't need to be the most crazy building out there. It is just to, you know, make sure that we gather together and build the best and cool looking stuff. Oh, and by the way, before I forgot, we will start with the lemurs next episode and then we will go from there and have a look what else we can do for Mexican animals. I also thought about um, having uh, maybe um, some snakes or something. Um, that would be also nice, but yeah, let's have a look into that next time. Thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, enjoy your weekend guys. And uh, here's the last very important bit. I'm back to streaming. You can now click to Twitch and watch me live because I am live now. It's, it's, it's actually, if you watch the whole episode um, without pausing it, from the beginning, I'm live for eight minutes already. So I hope to catch you on Twitch. I hope you guys have a good time. Stay safe, everyone. And until the next one, goodbye.